Hello, I'm your uh, Mayor Chuck Bennett. I wanted to take off my mask for a minute so I could uh, talk with you about a few things going on here in Salem. Uh, first, please don't ease up on social distancing. Marion County has the third highest infection rate and the second highest death rate in the state. We experience higher rates of chronic disease, poverty, and food insecurity than the rest of the state. And our residents are older. Those factors contribute to those higher rates. Remember that by staying home and when you're out, honoring social distancing, you are saving lives. So far, our hospital has extra ventilators and has beds available. At this time, the hospital is at 65% of its licensed bed capacity, which is a little below average. It also has 27 inpatients with a positive COVID test and 29 awaiting test results. They do have an adequate supply of ventilators for the current demand. And I want to particularly recognize the tremendous work being done among our city seniors by Center 50 Plus. Daily, there are 731 meals on 40 routes driven by 35 volunteer drivers going out from the Center's Marion Polk Food Share Meals on Wheels program. At the same time, 60 seniors are picking up daily meals curbside from the Center. A 50 Plus also has partnered with United Way of the Mid Willamette Valley to provide care and food boxes to local seniors in need. Each box includes snacks, protein bars, and food staples, as well as household and personal supplies. You can call the center directly or reach out to Connect 50 Plus. The past week, over 20 volunteers filled and delivered. 200 boxes. By mid-April, the program will exceed 2,000 food boxes. The box also has a bingo card for those interested in a no-cash remote game. And there's online fitness demonstration every morning at 10 a.m. on the Center's Facebook page. Volunteers at the Center also make daily reassurance calls and write cards and letters to housebound seniors. The Friendship Brigade continues their outreach and weekly newsletter with words of encouragement to seniors who are quarantined in community care settings like nursing homes. Remember that staying home and avoiding all non-essential contact with others continues to be the most important thing all of us can do to stay healthy and keep others healthy. Okay, but I also really like this mask my neighbor Danielle made me and I'm told it will help protect other people and possibly me. It sure can't hurt. I hope you'll continue to contact me about these issues, concerns, or questions. And stay safe. Stay home, stay healthy. Thank you.